Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Gypsy Wife Life. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing this makeup look here. <laughs> that car just drove by ruining my intro. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing my makeup. I'm not gonna be doing my hair because I let my hair just go natural today. I'm also gonna be showing you my outfit of the day and also the perfume that I'm going to be wearing during this season. So this is from Dossier. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this particular perfume later in the video, so stay tuned for that. And then I also wanted to ask y'all because I'm gonna be putting an order in next month possibly and I want to know what perfumes you would choose from the website. So I'm going to have Dossier linked down below. I want you to go through the female perfumes and I want you to pick one out for me to try. I like trying new scents and a lot of the perfumes on the Dossier website, I actually don't know what they smell like. I just go by the notes because they give you all of the notes for the perfumes like the top notes, middle notes, base notes, and then they tell you what the perfume is inspired by. So if there's a perfume on there that y'all would like me to try, write it down in the comments below and I'll take it into consideration because I am going to be putting a new order in soon. So I would love to know what perfumes you would like me to try. Whether it's your favorite perfume, maybe you'll see a perfume on there that one of the Dossier perfumes is inspired by, maybe it's your favorite perfume, or maybe if you're just interested in knowing what I would think about that specific perfume, leave it down in the comments and I'll check it out. Anyways, let's get this video started. So if you've been with me for a while, you know that I always do my makeup with my hair in a towel. I always do my makeup first before my hair. But I took a little extra time on my skincare today and I also did my eyebrows ahead of time so that I wouldn't have to do it in this video because I hate doing my eyebrows on camera. I feel like it's boring and time consuming and my eyebrows aren't that great so I know y'all don't want to watch me do that. But anyway, while I was sitting here I noticed that my hairline started to dry and if I don't take it out of the towel and do something with it, this is what it's going to look like and I don't want it to look like this. So I took it out of the towel, I'm going to go ahead and put some hair product in, brush my hair put it in a scrunchie or just get it out of my face anyway and then I'm gonna do my makeup. But I wanted to show y'all this product that I got from Walmart. I've been using it for a while now. I really, really like it and I recommend it. It's from Pantene. It's the Pantene Nutrient Blends. It's the Hydrating Glow Thirsty Ends Milk to Water Serum. And it has something else. I don't know how to pronounce the word but it's some kind of essence. But anyway, this stuff is really nice. I just put one pump about that big Rub my hands together. As you can see, it went from white to just like a oil, I guess, or a serum. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and put it mostly on the ends of my hair. And then I'm gonna take just a little tiny bit, like a pea size amount, and then put it on the rest of my hair. Now I'm gonna take my brush, which looks really funky, and I'm gonna brush my hair out. I don't even know what kind of brush this is but it's from Conair and I got it from Walmart. So I'm gonna go ahead and brush all of these little tangles out and then we're gonna put it up out of the way and we're gonna put some makeup on this face. I actually really wanted to tan today, but then I realized I hadn't exfoliated in a while. So I figured I would do it tomorrow. So today in the shower, I just exfoliated my entire body head to toe really well with my exfoliating towel. That way my skin will be completely prepped and ready for some self tanner. But I'm gonna be doing that tomorrow. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and finish brushing out my hair. I know y'all aren't trying to watch that. It's boring um, and I'll be back in a minute and we'll do some makeup. So this morning, a great blemish decided to pop up on my face out of nowhere and I'm gonna try to avoid it and not mess with it because I'm the type to go right in and try to get rid of it before it's time. And it's not time for this one to go yet. There's no head on this pimple, so I need to leave it be, which is gonna be really hard because it's very tempting to just try to get it off of my face. But anyways, um, I'm gonna start with a little bit of concealer. I'm using the Instant Age Rewind. I've been using this for years. You'll probably get tired of me saying that's what I'm about to use because I use it a lot. Um, I'm going to put some there, some here. We're gonna put just a little bit in the eye area. Ooh, should I put a little bit on there and try to cover it up? Maybe just a little bit, just a little bit. Not gonna go too much with it. So I'm just gonna blend this out. 
Um, blend it, blend it with this little double-sided brush I got. I don't even know where I got this brush from. I think my mom gave it to me and it might actually be a unique brush. I don't know, but I really love it and I use it for everything and I use it every day. I'm gonna go in now with some of this LA Girl Pro Conceal. This isn't the color that I normally use. I normally use Beautiful Bronze. I like that color the most, but I cannot find it. I mean, I have some, I just can't find it in my makeup drawer or whatever. So I'm just gonna add some of this. The color is Espresso, Espresso, whatever. I don't feel like it matches me very well, but it's gonna have to do for now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out along my jawline, bring it down into my neck just a little bit, just to try to blend everything together. Blend it in my forehead, my cheeks, just trying to give myself a little bit of color. I haven't been laying out or anything. I've taken a break from sun a lot this year, like more than usual. I tried to stay inside and if I did go out, um, it wasn't to tan or anything. I mean, if we went for walks down trails or we were just doing things outside, but I haven't laid out a lot this year, so I have no good tan going on or any kind of color that'll last me through the winter. And y'all know I do not do tanning beds. Um, no hate to you if you do. I know a lot of people that do, but that's just not my thing. My mother would never allow her daughters to ever go to a tanning bed, and we never did. Even now as an adult, I have the option to go if I want to. I refuse. And I'm so glad my mother had that rule for us. Thanks, Mom. Because in the long run, oh my goodness, tanning beds are so damaging to your skin. Not only that, but they're dangerous. So anyway, that's why I'm gonna be self tanning tomorrow because I need a little bit of color. I'm so sorry, I'm so rude. I added some cream blush. This is um, Lip to Cheek Palette and it is called Blazin, the shade. <laughs> anyway, just blend that out a little bit. Then I'm gonna go in with some of this e.l.f. powder. It's actually a tone correcting powder. I've had it for a long time. You can see I've hit pan, but I'm gonna keep using it till it's all gone. I really like this powder because it's lightweight. Um, it has the tone correcting colors in it, so it just kind of helps blend everything together. And sets my makeup a little bit. So I'm gonna be using this Natasha Denona palette. I actually use this palette a lot because I love the colors. So I'm gonna start off with the lighter one here. So I'm just going with a flat brush and I'm picking up that light color and I'm just gonna pat it on my lid just as my little starter shade. I'm gonna take my favorite little brush here and I'm gonna pick up some of this color. And I am going to apply it to my bottom lash line and just blend it all the way from the outer corner to the inner corner. Then I'm going to take my finger and just smudge it across there. Pick up a little bit more. So I don't know if I told y'all yet, but my um, ring light, the tripod that it sets on, it somehow broke like the screws that hold the ring light on the tripod broke. So I'm not able to use it. So the lighting is terrible. Angles are terrible. It's not working out for me, I know, but we're gonna push through, right? Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up that same color and I'm actually gonna start adding it in that outer V area of the eye, going up and towards the crease, blending it upwards towards the eyebrow, just like this. 
And I'm just going to take a little time and blend it, soften it, make sure there's no harsh lines or harsh edges. Just going to make it blend seamlessly. And pull it out a little bit as I go. So I'm going to grab a different brush now and I'm going to pick up some of this darker color or brighter actually, the very orangey shade. And I'm going to pat that on that outer corner there. Just patting it first and then I'm going to blend it. I'm going to blend it further onto my eyelid rather than bringing it out like I did with the other color. Now I'm going to take my same little favorite brush and I'm going to dip it in this brown here and I'm going to apply that to that lash line kind of like an eyeliner. Okay, so that's what it's looking like. Now I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes with my Kevin Aquan. <laughs> I had it backwards. My Kevin Aquan Lash Curler, and then I'm gonna be using my L'Oreal Voluminous Primer, and then I'm going to be going in with my Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift. Okay, so I put some mascara on, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut the camera off because y'all know I like really big, thick looking lashes. So I'm gonna put a few more layers on, then I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to my bottom lashes, but I'm gonna do it all off camera, and then I'll meet you right back here within like one second. Okay, so now that I've put 20 layers of mascara on, I'm officially done. Anyways, so I wanted to show y'all really quick what I got in my BoxyCharm this month because I didn't film it this month. Um, I did get this complimentary. I'm on the BoxyCharm PR list and um, I actually posted about it on my Instagram instead of doing a video, but I figured I would share since I'm doing a makeup video or get ready with me video anyway. So this is the BoxyCharm BTS. I don't even know what that stands for. I don't think I've even seen it anywhere. I'm sure it stands for something. <laughs> I don't know what it is though. But this is the September 2021 BoxyCharm box. So the first thing I got is this little leather makeup brush holder bag. And in the brush holder bag was these three brushes, which are really nice. This is like a contour brush, an angled brush, and a blending brush. And this retails for $58. Three limited edition decadent synthetic makeup brushes. Travel or store your brushes in style with a luxurious tan pouch. $58. So remember the base box is $25. I think this is actually the most expensive item in the box, but the other things are expensive as well. So this is a good deal. Anyways, we got the brushes. Next up, we got the St. Lux Brow Gel, which I actually tried the first day I got the box, but I've never tried it again because I don't use a brow gel, but hey, since we're here, let's go for it. I'm assuming brow gel is just like to keep your brows in place or something. I don't know, my brows are so funky. I brush them throughout the day, but I don't ever worry about keeping them in place because they're never that perfect that I would want to just keep them in perfect place. <laughs> I just check on them throughout the day and fix them with a spoolie if I need to, but maybe I should start um, using this product. So this is actually $22. This brow gel glides on effortlessly, leaving your brows looking fuller and giving them the perfect shape. The short brow brush will give you precise placement of your brows and a lightweight gel has no residue when dry. Hopefully that is true because I don't want to be walking around with residue in my eyebrows today. 
So yeah, this retails for $22. Next up, we got this insert name here is the brand and it's called Quick Slick Hair Essence. I tried this the first day I got the box just to see what it was, but I don't know that I'm going to use this. It says Quick Slick is designed to quickly and easily touch up your hair. No alcohol, safe for sensitive scalps, non-irritating, non-flaking essence to stick and smooth your baby hairs and flyaways with a light peach scent. I personally did not smell the light peach scent and I was hoping I would because I love peach scented things, but yeah, I mean, kind of smelled more chemical than anything, but this retails for $22. Not sure if I'm going to use it. I might try it. I don't feel like I really have a reason to, but who knows. Next up, we got a Dr. Brandt product, and this is a triple antioxidant eye cream, and this retails for $46. It says it's a revolutionary A3 power. Don't know what that means, but all right. A dynamic shield boosted with antioxidant, age defense, and anti-stress ingredients. It's designed to help the look of fine lines and prevent first signs of skin aging, protect against free radicals and external aggressors as well as moisturize. So I did use this one time and I liked it, but you know what? I totally forgot I had it today, so I didn't use it. I probably should keep it out here. That way I'll use it <laughs> or remember to use it anyway. So that retails for $46. This was the second most expensive thing in the box. This is the Blink Glow Getter face palette, which I have used a few times, and I really like it because all of that blush, all the shades of blush that it offers me, and y'all know that I love blush. So this retails for $50. It says this palette features four smooth matte blushes and four luminous highlighters. I haven't tried the highlighters yet. Maybe I'll use it today to go along with my little fall makeup look. Um, but anyway, so it's sophisticated shades that enhance all skin tones for a personalized youthful glow. The formulas are refined to blend effortlessly and last all day so you can glow and get it. So it also has the mirror on the other side. I guess we're gonna go ahead and use the blush since I didn't put a powder blush on yet. I only put the cream blush. Let's see, accomplished, talented, resilient, ambitious. <laughs> Thank you. Empowered, confident, brilliant, and fearless. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use the talented one. I feel like that goes a little bit um, best with my eye look today. Ooh, I can feel that eyebrow starting to set and I don't like the feel of it. It actually feels like a hairspray and my eyebrows feel like they've gotten Botox or something. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> I don't like that at all. It reminds me of that movie, who was it? Adam Sandler, maybe? No, was it Adam Sandler? I don't know who it was. Jennifer Aniston? It was some movie. And remember, there was like the lady with the eyebrows? That's what I look like right now. Oh my gosh. Remind me not to do that again, especially on camera where the world is gonna see. Anyway, let's go ahead and try out one of these. I think I'm going to go with the... Let's pick up a little brilliant and put a little bit up here. I really haven't used highlighters in a long time. I don't feel like they're very good on me. There's only one that I really, 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 really like that I feel like complements me, but I don't really use them. Let's do a little bit on the nose, not too much. Boop, boop, boop. A little above the lip. And then I'm also going to pick up the same color on my finger and add it to my brow bone with those Botoxed eyebrows. Wow. Yeah, I don't think I like that brow product. But anyway. All right, so we're done. So yeah, that was the September BoxyCharm box. We're gonna finish off this look with a lipstick. And then I need to get this hair out of this bun uh, and let the air drying process start. I try to stay away from heat as much as I can unless I feel like curling it. Or if my hair's super frizzy, then of course I'll straighten it 
um, either with a straightener or my straightener brush. Um, and sometimes I just kind of blow dry my roots a little bit, but I try to keep heat away from the rest of my hair for obvious reasons. I'm gonna put on this little peachy color today just to go along with my eyes. I'm gonna take my makeup sponge that has leftover makeup on it and just pat my lips with it. I have really pigmented lips, so if you have pigmented lips, you wanna put a little bit of concealer or something just to kind of erase the color. That way when you put the lipstick on, it's gonna be the actual color of the lipstick. So you call this a lip erase. So this is what the color looks like. I think this is Flower Beauty, possibly. I think so, which is Drew Barrymore's makeup line. And this color is called Bear Pout. I'm just gonna add a little bit and blend it with my finger because if I was to press down and really put that on, it would go on strong. And I'm not trying to have that today. I'm doing a more lighter look today for this lighter fall weather that we have. It literally went from 100 degrees one day to the next day it was 60s at night. And I thought that was really weird. I don't like that. I like the cool weather when the weather changes for the fall, but I'm not into cold weather and 60 to me is freezing. So anyways, I'm gonna let this hair air dry like I said. I um, might put a little Velcro roller up at the top just to give a little body up here and to shape my bangs a little bit. And this is probably the shirt I'm gonna be wearing today and I'll show you the rest of my outfit. I just have some shorts on for now to do my makeup. And we're also gonna be putting on a perfume. So the perfume I'm gonna be using today is the Woody Hyacinth. And this is actually inspired by Chanel's Chance Perfume. I'm gonna put a little there, put a little there. Mm, mm, mm. It smells amazing. Let me get this hair out of the way. I'm gonna put some there and there. And then everywhere. <laughs> so this bottle of perfume is $29. Like I said, it's inspired by Chanel's Chance. So if you like that perfume, you would love this one. So the top notes is Hyacinth, lemon and pineapple. The middle notes is jasmine, pink, pepper, and patchouli. And the base notes is vanilla, vetiver, and orris. I feel like this is a perfect scent for fall and winter because it's a little bit more spicier. It smells amazing, only $29, can't beat it. So this perfume is described on the website as sophisticated. It's also transforming from fresh and floral to spicy and sensual. And yeah, this is my look of the day and my scent of the day. I will have Dossier perfumes linked down below. I've talked to y'all about them before. I've been using them for a couple years now. Absolutely love Dossier perfumes. I highly recommend them. They all smell amazing and they are all so affordable. So check them out, they're linked down below. Okay, so my hair has officially air dried. I did put my Velcro roller in for just maybe three minutes and it already gave me a little bit of body and a little bit of shape with my bangs. <laughs> anyway, so I wanted to show you my outfit really quick, show you my hair. I also got some jewelry on, my paparazzi jewelry. I've got my rhinestone hoops on. Oh, look at that highlighter. Hey, that actually looks pretty good. And then I have on one of my little silver rhinestone chokers. This is my little outfit of the day. I just have on this white tank top, which is from Walmart. I have on some really cute leggings. I don't know where I got them from, but they're kind of old. I've had them probably for four or five years now, but I love them and I love wearing them in the fall and winter time, especially with some boots, which I'm actually not gonna be wearing today. I don't know if I'm going anywhere today to have to put shoes on, so for now I'm just wearing socks. <laughs> but if I do go somewhere and I put shoes on, I'm probably just gonna put tennis shoes on. And then I have this little shirt just tied around my waist, um, just because my shirt isn't that long, so it doesn't cover my bottom half, and I'm not trying to show my bottom half with like, these little leggings on. So um, just to give myself some fall vibes, add a little character to this outfit, but also to cover up um, parts that I just ain't trying to show. So yeah, this is what I'm looking like. We're letting the hair go natural today. Let it be.
So I'm also gonna take y'all outside with me because I wanted to check out my makeup and natural lighting and I figured I would show it to y'all as well just in case you wanna see the colors a little bit better. Anyways, I just wanna say thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch my video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Give this video a like if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you like my content. And don't forget to leave me some comments down below and tell me what perfume I should try out next. And I'll see y'all next time, bye.